Approximately 100 students from the community of Sisters Road, New Grant, Princess Town, will enter a newly constructed school when the new school year begins on Monday. The children were displaced about two years ago when the school was closed due to structural issues. The infants to standard three classes were accommodated at the New Grant Government Primary School, while children in standards four and five were housed at the Torb Trace Presbyterian School. At the Ministry of Education, we believe in equity and educational opportunity. And from time to time, these things happen. And what happened at Sisters Road is not singular. We have other schools where we have difficulties with the building and we have to seek different accommodations for the children. The minister told those gathered for the commissioning of the rebuilt school that it costs around $6.9 million. She was scheduled to also attend the commissioning of the Holy Cross Anglican Primary School in Marabella and the commissioning of refurbishment work on St. George's College in Barataria. MP for Princess Town Barry Padarath, who was at the first event, expressed concern about the government's failure to rebuild the Princess Town Presbyterian No. 1 school, which remains on a shift system with the Presbyterian No. 2 school for almost 10 years now. We have cabinet approval to do a school at Presbyterian No. 1, and so that's on our agenda for the next fiscal. Yes, to start construction. This has been over nine years we've been clamoring for this Princess Town number one school. Her announcement to members of the media that the school will be constructed within the next financial year. I have no faith, I have no trust, I have no confidence in the Minister of Education because we have gotten that commitment before and we have seen little or no results at all. Meanwhile, Minister Gatsby Dolly says she has no reports on any school that will remain closed on Monday as teams are continuing work to ensure that those with complaints are addressed by that time. At this point in time, I have no indication that there isn't a school that's going to be open. But I can tell you that problems at schools happen every single day. As of now, we have having new reports of schools having issues, some of them still overflowing from rainfall and so on. So as of now, we are working on all complaints that have come to us. Hundreds of complaints come to us um, over the time. And right now, we have about 60-something schools being open. Cindy Ragubatika Singh, TV6 News.